What's up guys, today I'm making this video for anybody that has scabies or has been diagnosed with scabies or thinks they have scabies and is completely freaking out, no idea what to do, you're scratching all night, you've got uh, you know red marks all over your body uh, because that is exactly what I was going through just a few months ago and I know it is not fun at all. Um, so what I've put together here is a guide to the different treatments that I used that worked for me and um, within about two weeks I was able to completely get rid of my scabies um, and I really hope that this guide will also help you do the same thing. So here we go. Okay, the first thing is do you actually have scabies? Okay, a lot of people treating themselves for scabies and this is not actually what they have. So um, you need to remember that scabies looks like a lot of different things. I mean, it can look like acne, it can look like folliculitis, it can look like heat rash. You know, there's lots of things that looks like scabies but is not actually scabies. So the telltale signs of scabies are burrow lines. So you're going to see like little burrow, like they look like little roads on your on your skin, which is where the mites have been burrowing through your skin. Um, the second is itching. It's going to be a crazy, like severe itching. It's not going to be just like a little scratch on your arm. It's going to be itching that keeps you up all night. And the third one is um, where these symptoms are being found. So scabies, they like to, to, to hide in certain places on the body. So between the fingers is a popular place for them, um, around the, the thighs and the groin. Also um, behind the elbows and knees. Anywhere where there's kind of like soft, sweaty skin that's easy to burrow into um, is, is a really common place to find scabies. So the only way to know for sure is to go to a doctor, go to a dermatologist, and get a physical exam. Um, the doctor will look at you under a microscope and if they know what they're looking for, it's pretty easy for them to actually spot the scabies mite. Um, I can't tell you over a YouTube video whether or not you have scabies. The only way is to really go to a, a health professional and, and, and find out for sure. Okay, once you've confirmed that you do have scabies, the best advice I can give you is to start treatment right now, as in today, because scabies moves quickly. Okay, I remember I went to the doctor, I think it was on a Monday, and by the Wednesday, my entire body was just bam. I just, my whole, all my skin had flared up. So um, you need to start treatment immediately. The second thing I will say is to use a variety of treatments, okay? Use a multi-pronged approach because during all the reading that I did on scabies, I could not find a single study that showed a treatment to have a 100% cure rate. That means that you need to use a variety of treatments to make sure that you kill every single scabies mite in your body. And the last bit of advice is to treat your entire household. Okay, if you're living with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or you have a family or you have roommates, everybody needs to be treated because if you're living with someone, there's a good chance that they've gonna, they have caught scabies off you. And if they don't treat themselves, it's only a matter of time before you get reinfested. So make sure you treat everyone in your household. Okay, so we'll start with prescription treatments. Okay, the most likely prescription treatment that you'll get is permethrin cream. Um, that's the most common scabies treatment today. It's, it's permethrin is is the it's like the active ingredient in bug spray and you know flea bombs and things like that. So you're going to get this cream that's five percent permethrin, and the idea is you have to leave it on your skin for eight hours. So you're going to from the bottom of your chin all the way down to the bottoms of your feet, you're going to apply that cream, and then usually do it before you sleep. You you go to sleep, you leave it on for eight hours, you wake up in the morning, and you get in the shower and wash it off. Um, and you have to do that twice. So you do that seven days apart, one today and then one seven days from now. The second prescription treatment is an oral treatment. It's a pill and it's uh, called ivermectin. And that used to be a, a treatment used for livestock, mostly in animals, but now they've also managed to approve it for humans. And it's going to be based on your body weight. So it's, it's a good idea to get it prescribed from your doctor because he'll know, or he or she will know exactly how much you're supposed to take. It's like if you're 130 pounds, you take four pills. And if you're 250 pounds, you take six pills or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But I'll link uh, the dosage chart in the video notes for you if you want to check that out. Um, so those are the two prescription treatments. And they're really effective together. They're a really good one-two punch 
Um, so I highly recommend you use those. I know today a lot of people are all about natural treatments and herbal treatments, but remember with scabies, you want to hit it as hard and as fast as possible. Um, so I, I recommend you use these, both of these. Um, if you can't get to a doctor or your doctor won't give it to you or whatever, there are places you can get these over the counter. Um, so I'll link that information in the video notes as well. Okay, let's move on to natural treatments. I actually found a lot of studies that showed natural treatments were effective for scabies. And this is important because I did not find a single study that showed permethrin or ivermectin to be 100% effective. So that means to be sure that we're going to kill all of the mites, we need to use as many treatments as possible because it only takes one or two missed mites or eggs that's going to leave us open for a complete reinfestation and we need to do this all over again. The reason natural treatments are perfect is because the natural treatments I'm going to talk to you about are actually really good for your skin. You know, you can't keep using permethrin and ivermectin because they're toxic, they're insecticides, and they're not good for you. So natural treatments are actually the perfect complement to those because they're actually good for your skin and you can use them every day. Um, so if you use this treatment every day for about a week, um, it's, you're going to have a really, really good chance of killing every single scabies mite in your body, which is obviously what we want. What's up guys, today I'm making this video for anybody that has scabies or has been diagnosed with scabies or thinks they have scabies and is completely freaking out, no idea what to do, you're scratching all night, you've got uh, you know red marks all over your body uh, because that is exactly what I was going through just a few months ago and I know it is not fun at all. Um, so what I've put together here is a guide to the different treatments that I used that worked for me and um, within about two weeks I was able to. The next ingredient is tea tree oil. If you haven't heard of tea tree oil it comes from the tea tree plant or the melaleuca plant in Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's a natural antiseptic and it it's really common to uh, for herbalists and naturopaths and things like that to use it for skin infections and staph infections and fungal infections and it's really effective. Um, the good news for us is there was an Australian study, I'll link that below as well, that showed tea tree oil was almost as effective as permethrin for treating scabies. So that's really good news for us. So that's a, the second ingredient that we'll be using. The next ingredient is clove oil. If you've ever used clove oil before, you will know that it is very strong. Um, if you apply it directly to your skin, it's probably going to burn you. But uh, there was a really long, elaborate study that showed that clove oil killed 100% of scabies mites within 15 minutes of exposure. That is huge. Um, the only question mark there was it was done in vitro, which means it was done in the lab. It wasn't actually done on the human body. Um, but if you have any mites on the surface of your skin, clove oil is surely going to destroy them. So that's a perfect ingredient for us to add uh, to this body mask. The next ingredient is neem powder. Obviously this comes from the same plant as the neem oil. Uh, the reason I included this here is because one, neem is just so good for your skin that I thought it would be a good addition and secondly everybody reacts to different treatments differently you know everybody's skin is different so um, I thought it would be a good idea for us to have both the oil and the powder. The next ingredient is turmeric the reason turmeric is in here is because in the previous study that I talked about they used neem oil mixed with turmeric and it was really effective um, so just to mimic that treatment as closely as possible also, turmeric is really good for your skin, and um, it's really cheap as well, so no trouble to include that here. What's up, guys? Today, I'm making this video for anybody that has scabies or has been diagnosed with scabies or thinks they have scabies and is completely freaking out, no idea what to do, you're scratching all night, you've got uh, you know red marks all over your body. Uh, because that is exactly what I was going through just a few months ago and I know it is not fun at all. Um, so what I've put together here is a guide to the different treatments that I used that worked for me and um, within about two weeks I was able to completely get rid of my scabies um, and I really hope that this guide will also help you do the same thing. So here we go. 
The next ingredient is tea tree oil. If you haven't heard of tea tree oil, it comes from the tea tree plant or the melaleuca plant in Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's a natural antiseptic and it it's really common to uh, for herbalists and naturopaths and things like that to use it for skin infections and staph infections and fungal infections and it's really effective. Um, the good news for us is there was an Australian study, I'll link that below as well, that showed tea tree oil was almost as effective as permethrin for treating scabies. So that's really good news for us. So that's a, the second ingredient that we'll be using. Okay, here are the instructions. So you're going to take that mixture and you're going to apply it over your whole body. I'm talking from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. You can get it in your hair, you can get it on your face. Everything in that mixture is safe for your skin. Um, and you have to leave that on for 45 minutes. And that's the tricky part because once you've put this on, you're going to realize very quickly that you cannot just go and lie on the couch for 45 minutes. Um, you're going to look like you've been rolling in the mud for the last three days, okay? Um, you're going to look like the Incredible Hulk, basically. You're going to look like you've come back from war. So what I would do, or what I recommend that you do, is that you get a towel, get an old towel, and put it on the bathroom floor, and then stand on that and apply this mixture. Or if you have a bathtub, um, that's perfect too. You can stand in the shower. And then once you've applied it, um, just watch a favorite just watch an episode of your favorite show on Netflix just set your laptop up in the bathroom and just stand there and watch one of your favorite shows after one episode that's 45 minutes boom and jump in the shower wash it all off and then you're done okay and you should repeat that daily for seven days um, some people might just want to do it every second day it might be a bit much to do that every day um, but really everybody has time to watch a little bit of TV um, each night. So in this case, you're just going to be doing it in the bathroom instead of doing it on the couch. Um, trust me, when your scabies is gone, it's going to be all worth it. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have done your permethrin treatment and your ivermectin treatment on day one, and then from days one to seven, you were doing the natural body mask treatment, and then uh, after seven days, you did your second permethrin and ivermectin treatment. That should be it. That should be all the scabies treatment that you need to do. Um, now it's just about supporting your body to recover. Um, one really important thing I'm going to say here is if you have scabies symptoms after your treatment, don't panic. Okay, It's totally normal for your skin to continue to be a little bit inflamed, for you to still be itchy because there are still dead mites and dead eggs and burrows healing in your skin. Um, a lot of people might feel an itch and they'll be like, oh my gosh, my scabies has come back or I didn't heal it properly. Don't do this. Okay, If you've done the treatment properly, it will have worked. Okay, The only thing you can do now is support your skin. Um, it's going to be very stressed after all that treatment, so make sure you moisturize really well every day. I like to mix a little bit of tea tree oil into my moisturizer as it just helps support the skin heal a little bit quicker. Um, but otherwise, don't panic, okay? If you have scabies symptoms after your treatment, that's completely normal. Um, stay positive after, you know, about three or four weeks, you should be completely back to normal. Um, so, yeah. And that's really it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, this was the exact treatment that I used to cure my scabies, and I really hope it works for you as well. Remember, uh, like I said before, I know exactly what you're going through. This is not fun. I'm really sorry you have to go through this. But just know that if you do the treatment properly, I really believe it will work. I mean, I know you spend a lot of time thinking, oh my gosh, am I have to Am I going to have to deal with this forever? And is my life ever going to be back to normal? But I really do believe if you if you do the treatment properly, it should work. I also have a written version of this guide in the, sh in the video notes if you prefer that. And also in that guide, I've linked to a lot of the products that I used if you are not sure where to find them or, or if you're not sure exactly which product to use. Um, like I said, there are also links there that will show you how to get permethrin and ivermectin over the counter if you're not able to get it from a doctor or if you don't have access to a doctor. And I've also linked to all of the studies as well that I talked about in this in this video. So other than that, all I can say is good luck. I hope this was helpful and I really hope you'll be back to perfect health again soon. Cheers.